right, guys, today we're here with Brittany Ramos, Independence Title right here in Clear Lake. Uh, she is our preferred title company. I've known Brittany now, how long have we known each other? 2013. 10 years? Yes. Yeah, Brittany closed a deal. It was a builder deal, which for the Diagostino family, I think you closed that thing at like 10 o'clock at night. I wasn't even there. It was that late. Maybe midnight. Oh, but midnight? It was late. So that was kind of uh, the hook for me was that she was there getting after it uh, after hours. Obviously, these builders want these files closed. I get that. But uh, she took care of it. And that was kind of the beginning of the relationship. And we've had a working relationship ever since then. Uh, so today we're going to just talk about title insurance. It's not sexy, but it is something that is 100% necessary. So what is title insurance? Title insurance is different than most insurance okay. as it protects against prior issues that could happen. Okay. Could have happened that you're not aware of. So it protects your buyer uh -huh. from prior issues with the title to the property, which in most cases... Like what would that be? Um, prior liens, taxes, payoffs, anything that would have affected or attached to the property from prior owners will be addressed. Um, so again, no clouds. So I, I come by a house from Billy Bob down the street. I'm getting this thing without any hair on the deal. Correct. You want to have marketable title when you purchase it. Okay. Meaning free and clear. No okay. liens or judgments from a prior owner that would attach to your property okay. going forward from the date of purchase. So you're taking care of everything in terms of the research, title search, making sure tax liens, um, judgments, child support, anything and everything that's attached to the property or the individual on that property, I guess? Yes. Yeah, so anyone that previously owned it mm -hmm. could have items that have attached to the property. Okay. Child support liens, payoffs, credit card debt, right. judgments, anything like that okay. can be filed against the property and negatively impact the person purchasing it right. if they do not have title insurance. So are you telling me it's not good for John and uh, Alan to do a transaction where they just do a warranty deed to each other? Absolutely not, because okay. either one that. of them could be taking title to a property that has liens and judgments that are going to follow with them. Right. Ownership changes, but those items are not cured. Right. We as a title company go in and make sure that all of that is taken care of prior to change of ownership. Because okay. when title passes to the new owner, everything attached also Go attaches. Correct. Right. But you could even have HOA liens, that right. type of stuff. So I think there's a lot of stuff that people don't realize. You know, you're trying to do this handshake deal between two people and Everybody appears to be honest about board, but sometimes people don't disclose those things. And you guys are kind of the traffic cop to make sure that all of that is addressed. Yes, and the beauty of it is title insurance is paid for one time. Okay. It's a contract item, so it's negotiable, okay. but it's paid one time at the time of closing. It's negotiable in terms of who pays for it. Based on the contract, right. yes, sir. But the price itself is, is regulated is, by Texas Department of Insurance. Right. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. So at the end of the day, I mean, this is why we use a title company. I've never done a transaction in 21 years that we didn't use a title company. Um, and we never recommend that. We do inherit transactions sometimes, and then you guys have to go in and fix stuff or whatever. Um, what about if someone is thinking about selling their house, but they think they have some issues? Is it something where before the house ever gets listed, they could come to you and say, you know what? Um, I had an issue 20 years ago. I don't know how to see if this issue is still there. Maybe it was a judgment. Maybe it was the IRS. I don't know. Absolutely. We have oftentimes where agents will have their seller open title with us ahead of time to make sure that there's nothing that would prevent them from listing right. a property. You okay. don't want to list a property that's unsellable. Correct. Right. And it can be sold without a title company, but right. I wouldn't recommend that. Right. We definitely want to take care of items out of the gate. Right. So it doesn't delay closing once it's under contract. Right. I could sleep good at night knowing that once I buy the house, everything prior to that should be taken care of no matter what. If some way, somehow you guys miss something, that would be part of what the insurance policy pays for. Yes. Yeah, so if we miss something at the time of closing, right. 
the buyer could make a claim against their title policy okay. and the title company would be responsible to take care of it. So okay. if there was taxes that weren't collected at closing and should have, right. the buyer could make a claim on right. their policy and the title company would have to pay the claim. Right. I think I think the, the, the big point here is, look, no one likes to pay for car insurance, health insurance, life insurance. They don't like to pay for title insurance because people are, well, I don't see the value. This is the value for you as a buyer and a seller, actually. It protects both parties. So, you know, when you do your next transaction, I mean, pretty much everything we do, agents do, they are closed to a title company, but, or, or those transactions are closed to a title company. But uh, we just want to kind of give you guys a little snippet on that. We're going to dive into some other subjects here in a few minutes. But thank you for taking the time to meet with us, and we'll chat with you later. Bye-bye.